Yo guys, so I made a, a video, uh, I recorded a session with one of my, my students, one of my good friends, Helena. She started playing poker under my wing about eight months ago. So I've been coaching her for about eight months and she's managed to go from 2NL and now she's taking shots at 50NL, which is incredible progress. I'm real proud of her. She's doing really, really well. And I'll give you guys, I'm giving you guys a little bit of insight into how I coach her. Um, the quality is, it's better than it has been. It's a lot better than it has been. It's still not good enough for me to use this content on my website. I'm going to make sure I got a team of professionals uh, that are going to come in and we're going to make some really, really high quality videos as well as high quality content, which is, you know, a consistent common denominator. Um, so we're gonna go through some, just like 15 minutes of footage that she's pre-recorded and then stop and I'll, I'll speak about thought processes that she should be having, comparing the thought processes from the micro stakes to how it's now transitioning over to the small stakes, which is $50 buy-ins. Uh, so I hope you guys can learn a lot from this. You really should be able to be, if you should be able to if you pay a lot of close attention. And uh, I've I gotta say this is probably the best free content of how to play the micro stakes and small stakes and, and mid stakes that you, you're gonna find on the internet. So I uh, hope you guys appreciate it. Please, if you do, like the fucking video. Don't know how many times to tell you. Like it. And uh, subscribe if that's uh, if you haven't already. So I uh, appreciate it if you would. Do uh, just give me that one little thing back. And uh, yeah, enjoy dudes. All right, we're recording. Let's see Helena's first attempt in a maybe a month or two at 50 and L and uh, Helena has recorded something she hasn't talked over the recording so we're going to talk over it now um, be ready to press pause as soon as I press pause okay what be so when I say pause be ready <laughs> to pause the video because yeah. I, I don't have control over this yeah, yeah. got all right. it all right Easy. Right, can we go? Yeah, ju just as a bit of background, Helena's one of my students and she's now been playing under my wing for how many months? Jesus, uh, eight? Nine? Oh no, we're recording and I'm Since topless in it. <laughs> Shit, I forgot that's a thing. One second. Um, what? I'm just like topless in my thing. Um, <laughs> I want they can see you. Yeah, I've got the webcam on because I, I didn't bother setting up a new thing. All right, we're back, guys. Sorry if that offended anyone. If it did, you're probably just not comfortable with something really, really personal to you. Um, okay, so how, how long have you been playing? The top of the nose of it. Yeah, how long have you been playing under my thing? Under my wing? In my... Since January. In my totalitarian regime. Since January. So... Jesus. What was it now? October? So... Yeah. That's the 10th tenth, tenth month. So, nine months. Ten months. And you started... Nine, yeah, it's the beginning of October. So nine, nine months, and you, you started on two and L. Uh huh. And you're up to fifty and L. I know you, yeah. you you only really have me to compare to, so it doesn't seem like that extraordinary. But that is extraordinary. Just just to just to get that out there, really? it, it takes most people years to get up to fifty and L. So you you're doing pretty damn fucking well already. All right, let's see how you play before we before we start celebrating too early. Yeah. Um, don't want to celebrate on the turn just when the river comes and shows that she actually just punts all the time. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Got this. Oh man, I Got missed right foot force so bad. Oh, right, right. So, that's the dream. Um, I don't really have any stats on anyone at 50 yet, but... Yeah, it's liberating, right? No. No. I hate it. Um, I think that might be a bit loose. No, it's not. It's super, super normal. So, okay, ju 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 just to pause. Pause it. In 10 and L, that can be kind of loose because when people 3-bet small blind versus cutoff, they basically only have aces, kings, queens, and ace-king most of the time. Um, and so until you get stats on people, you yeah. can start folding that on the lower stakes. But on, on these stakes, people have started to balance most of the 3-bet spots. Small blind versus cutoff is one that you kind of balance and you get bluffs in your range reasonably early on. It usually goes people people learn to three bet like small blind versus button and then they learn 
bottom versus cutoff, and then maybe like blind versus blind, so big blind versus small blind. Then eventually they'll get like big blind versus button, and then the next one is kind of like small blind versus cutoff. So uh, I, I would say by 50 and okay. L, most of the regs will have at least like uh, some bluffs in their range. So uh, Queen Jack suited in position yeah. against, and, and again, it, it, that guy is, he's three bit real small. And uh, I know I've taught you that three bets are meant to be that size, but they're not meant to be that size. It's just like the size that you can go on micro stakes because no one knows that you meant a you meant a three bet from like what was it one twenty five probably to like six or something. So uh, yeah, you get you're getting okay. great great odds in position with a great hand. So uh, it's nowhere near a fold. Okay, cool. Because I think last time you coached me like a couple of months ago, I was on ten and L, so I'm still kind of applying that stuff. Yeah, exactly. So. so Helen and I haven't had too many regular sessions like this recently, but so that there's still going to be some micro stakes stuff getting in, uh, which is super fun. So I'm in the low stakes now, baby. Oh yeah, we made it. All right, play it. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have raised there because he bet so small. But... No, 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 no. All right, pause it again. Pause it again. All right. So if you're having those thoughts, that's that's not good. Uh, so in those kind of situations, okay. the the regs, like in, in common three bet situations and common C bet situations, the regs are going to be relatively balanced in their size. So he's probably C betting mm-hmm. like eighty percent there, um, and he's going to yeah. be C betting the same size with basically everything um, because that's just okay. kind of like the size you C bet on dry boards in three bet pots and like yeah. So don't 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 yeah. be thinking small is weak uh, when it comes to regs in standard situations yeah when okay. it, when it's a more like diverse situation that you haven't seen too often then you can start saying okay small is probably uh like you, you can start reading into the bet sizes a bit more so what, what are your thoughts on the eight five here and your c bet size um uh, kind of going small enough so like i don't know he might float like ace highs and then other like pocket pairs like sixes and sevens and stuff or like ace four or something yeah um and he might raise if he's fishy and short oh perfect okay yeah this is great um so that the first thing you said is the main thing in this situation you do not want him to fold ace high you do not want to bet like 150 Mm -hmm. and then a fish be like oh ace three no good but if you bet one almost all fish are going to peel with their ace highs just because like on, on that kind of board ace high just kind of looks really good um, we just have ace high yeah. dominated so hard, and we can stack it if you know if we if he hits an ace. Um, and yeah, the second thing, fishies against small small sizes on these kind of boards, they they do love to float. So if he has like queen jack, he he may just he may call, he may even raise. So yeah, perfect. Yeah. So if people raise these boards so much more blind versus blind since you did the bankroll challenge, it's so annoying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what goes down first before we talk about it. Here, if you're gonna raise, I hope you tank. Cause, yeah, I mean that that that's yeah, probably, that's that's probably it. long enough. We'll take it. I'm kind of tanking. No, no, that's good. That's that's probably it. Oi, oi. Yeah. Holy Ooh. shit, man! <laughs> the turn. Yeah. All right. So, so that was the point. I was tanking, but maybe I should tank for longer. No, no that's fine. You you just need to make it look like you could be bluffing here. Like, oh fuck, it, I don't I don't think this guy's got shit from his perspective. Um, if you snap raise, mm-hmm. then it's obvious that you were always going to raise in that situation. Um, there isn't too much to talk about on your turn check. I like it because it means that all his floats get to bet and. Uh, it's really hard to stack anything with this kind of hand because you know you, you're always going to stack an eight anyway. Uh, but it's just really rare he has an eight, so you need to focus more on his ace highs, king highs, queen highs. Um, maybe four x will bet itself as well, but it might fall to a bet. So uh, check checking's definitely better, mm. um, but it's just not not super complicated. So we can we, we can carry on if if you are watching at home, don't understand that, then uh, take take a while to just think about it. Um, I don't know if this is too loose and open, if there's a fish in the big blind, I guess it's fine. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't open it into two regs if I were you, but would open it into a fish yeah. in big blind. Mm-hmm. 
Because I'm these babies. <laughs> All the babies. <laughs> Helena, if you're watching, has a thing about hating it when people have babies as their pictures. Because it is kind of creepy. I've never noticed it before, but now you point it out, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. Now there's just loads of babies and loads of lions. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There's a lion. Oh, okay. shit. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, loads more people. Transforming it. Uh, you can defend the king nine there against the fishy. Uh, even against a yeah, rogue, probably. Okay, hey, more stats. Oh, wait. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it up. Hold on. It's okay. Yeah, hold on. Oh, what have I done? You've just skipped forward a bit. I wanna ask a... Yeah, I wanna go back. This one. Um, if I have more stats with this guy 3-bet lose, could I 4-bet here? Or cool? Or uh, no. It's, it's just like, you can't call okay. because if he's got a loose 3-bet, I mean, then you're just set mining against what is, you know, a bunch of base fives, and you're, you're not getting too much money against that if you hit a set even. Which is very rare, and if you yeah. four, if you four bet and he calls, you're fucked, because eights eights aren't so good <laughs> eights aren't so good at flopping stuff, especially against a four bet range. Yeah, I think maybe my brain is going too far to being like now that people three bet more loosely, I should be like four bet bluffing like all the time. Yeah, just I, I would say stay relatively balanced and choose hands like ace queen suited to four bet bluff there. Yeah, and if okay. someone has ludicrous three bet stats, you can start choosing like King Jack suited and things like that. Mm -hmm. cool. So yeah, pre flop in these these stakes against rakes, you're gonna have to be like relatively balanced. You don't need to be balanced in anything post flop basically, um, but you can you can mm -hmm. you can defend there against a fish against a min raise. Ace five okay. off. If he's three x, probably yeah. not. But just just seeing so you. Know. Yeah, I think that guy, that's what one of the what I was asking about. That guy min raise opens every hand and his stats are actually super ready. Oh. Um, I think I changed his label because he just does that with like, everything. Yeah, so, I mean, some. I mean, it's actually in the highest stakes people min raise as well under the gun. So, you know, it's the thing. Yeah. Not too much to talk about c size though, so whatever. No. People check back top mm -hmm. pairs too much against recreational players in those kind of spots. There, it's worth knowing because they're all like, I want to check really? back because yeah, because people like to balance and check back some top pairs, but they do it against regs, and then for some reason they they also do it against recreational players, which is just a, a waste of time and a waste of money. Yeah. So much going on. <laughs> yeah. I think some stuff happens at some point. I hope so. <laughs> King six soft blind vest blind is probably a defend against the three X. Okay. Depending on who it is, but it's 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 gonna be a defend very, very often. Okay. Um here I wasn't sure the guy's Three winning so much, but I can't really four bet queen ten off right out of position. I mean, you can again against what is going to be a lot looser range here. If he does, like, if he three bets blind versus blind, like fifteen percent or something, then you can probably four bet this. Yeah. Um, you, you have blockers to okay. get to good hands, and then it doesn't flop horribly. Um, you can also call this as well. But oh, okay. I, I would probably lean towards four betting actually mm -hmm. if if he has a wide three bet. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, what kind of percentage? Could I call against like ten percent? Um, Big blind versus small blind. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Probably lean towards. Yeah, probably lean towards call against ten percent, and then as, if it gets much lower, then just start folding. If it gets to, like eight. Yeah. Okay. That's a loose overlimb there. It's a real loose overlimb. That one? Yeah. I would not do that. Okay. Okay. What, just so... Yeah. If it if, if it's only one limb, then you can just about get away with isolating. Uh, but that, that's got to be, like, really near the bottom of where you can start getting away with it. 
Okay, I like I like the squeeze with King okay. Nine suited. It's not the best hand to three bet King Nine, but in, in this spot, you, you should just be going mental with your three bets. Yeah, I should probably have gone bigger though. Oh, that's fine. Like way bigger. I mean, yeah. recreational players see that as big. And it doesn't matter if the small blind calls as well, because you just get to win the pot so often. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Can't even see some of the, the action on the second table. That's so dumb. <laughs> if you're watching, I am struggling right now because I can't get rid of the full screen thing on uh, whatever I'm watching this on team view. I guess I can do this. All right, let's try that. And uh, Oh, that was a horrid sound. Uh, <laughs> but me speaking. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? Please be small screen. What is happening? Where have you gone? I'm actually so confused. I thought you need a lot of help. Yeah, I need a lot of help. Alright, you, you've just disappeared off my screens. How brutal. Spooky. Okay, wait, I think I can get it. No, it's literally, it's literally just disappeared. And when I click yeah. on it, it doesn't come back up. What the fuck is happening? Fabulous. Uh, we may have to restart. Can you close yeah. it? Yeah. But then we remember where we got to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I got it. Oh, but it's still fucking full screen. Escape, <laughs> delete, function, escape. Control, command escape. Just get out of here, you dicks. Show your bet. I'm so tilted. I hate Max so much. Yeah. Dude, this tilts me more than like busting 100k does. Oh, Jesus. Le legit. Oh my god, I've done it. I'm a fucking genius. Okay. And now it's just like minimizing and. Okay, all right, all right, we're good. Okay. Breathe. Oh, yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the drawing. Okay, are we ready? Um, oh, can you move this thing? Uh-huh. Because you're blocking out some of the table. Uh, all right. Um, all right, I think we're good. All right, this is this is better. Can I also zoom? Yeah, in? I guess you can just edit out that. Oh my god, bit. this is perfect. All right, now I got it. I got it. We can. I can also zoom in. I might be a genius. Whoa. All right, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. We ready? Yeah. I should definitely ask Party Poker because I've still got a Party Poker banner on, and they they we had just like a small deal for them doing it for my Twitch. You can you can keep playing by the way. Um, oh. But now now there's just like hundreds of thousands of views or tens of thousands on some, like hundreds of thousands total of people watching and seeing their banner on my videos, and it's just like such ridiculous oh, yeah. free advertisement for them. I should I should definitely ask yeah, for something. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. You you wouldn't open that right if there were not two fish, right? Uh, what the, the queen eight? Yeah. You give yeah, that guy a bad yeah. reg label. What? He's got under fifty. Yeah. What this guy? Yeah, he's got under fifty dollars. Yeah, because he's already in the oh, does he from the step up? Oh fuck. Fine, I'll change it. Right. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You do you. <laughs> All right. So, what, 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 what's your, what's your thought on the turn here? Uh, on the turn here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That he could have. 
weird drawers or floated some stuff, so I think I'd just go dig again and try and fold out like eights, nines. Um yeah, not not really any yeah, not really any cards. weird drawers apart from A9 specifically. Um Yeah. It's not not really a drawery board, is it? Um so yeah, um, he, he he can have some ace highs, some maybe like ace jack of hearts. He can have some pocket sixes, some maybe ace five suited if he pills those. He can have some eight sevens, he can have some eight nines. Um so the the ten's definitely a real good card to barrel and Yeah. I guess I'll probably go smaller. Ah, uh, big's fine, big's fine. E is fine. The problem is with big I mean, you kind of have to you kind of just have to just double barrel and give up the river, uh, unless the river's just like a, yeah. a king or something. But smaller mm -hmm. you can keep in his uh his like pocket eights and stuff and then triple barrel. But yeah, all right. Big big's fine. Yeah. Okay. Ah, similar thoughts here. All the thoughts. So I'm gonna think in these days. Yeah, you actually are compared to how you used to not really think at all. Yeah, no. Alright, so we check raise the flop. Mm. And then that's small enough that Reg might make it think that I've hit a full house. Yeah. And then just got massive. Yeah. Alright, I'm down with it. Nice. Yeah, there's not too much to speak about there apart from what you said is uh it looks real strong when you when you just go small there and you just start repping boats. Yeah. I don't think people usually expect others to go that size as a bloof. Until this video goes on YouTube and then everyone's gonna do it. Yeah, this is <laughs> cool. Give up, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we opened king queen here, and we see that into two people, those two. And uh, wait, pause it. Yeah. What do you think? It, what do you think his range is? Uh, loaded ten x. He can have like eight nine. He might have a seven suited, uh -huh. maybe. Um, I don't know. Yeah, and then, and then pocket eights, pocket nines, um, and yeah. some. Jack tens as well, and some pocket jacks. Yeah. So I, like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay yeah. with the the bet. I would maybe lean towards betting a bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe just betting yeah. betting full pot, and then making sure his pocket eights oh. and pocket nines um, definitely fold. His ace tens are more likely to fold, and then you can just give up the river or shove if you hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the bet's definitely good. Okay. And the, the give up's good as yeah, well. Yeah, one Oh look, Charlie's saying probably would have worked, and hell, this didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? You're such a good coach. Oh yeah, my God. just just here for morale, mate. <laughs> 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 it's happening. Yeah, I don't think I get that much value on this. Dude, spoilers, what the hell? The hell? What? Spoilers. People oh, are watch sorry. people are watching <laughs> this and having fun. I'm watching this and having fun. I love not knowing what's going on. I mean my memory's not that good, so I'm Yeah, brilliant. Um <laughs> Alright, so what what's your thought on the sizing here? Um, like, I don't know, he, I don't know what he has, he can have like ace king or something and just continue. Alright, um, you're, you're, you're already so fucking, alright, stop, 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 alright, this is a mess already. So, when there are two people and there are so many hands that they can yeah. have, when there are two flush draws, loads of straight draws, loads of one pairs, um, you don't need to just like sit there and think through like all the individual hands they, they can have, you can do that on the river if it gets heads up. You, you just need to be yeah. thinking, okay, people can have either flush draw, probably not hearts, but maybe they can be having something like a pair and a straight draw. And so you just like clump together these hands because there are just so many. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, but, but more than that, in, instead of just being like, oh, this guy can have that and this guy can have that, 
you just need to be focusing on like how do i get value from this range it's such a wet board and there are so many hands to protect mm -hmm. from as well as get value from um and it's something that I've, I've seen you do quite quite a lot in the hands that you send me is that you, you don't bet big enough on these kind of situations because you're like scared of yeah like scaring them off um here yeah. i would i would bet at least three dollars probably nearer like three thirty three forty um people are like the fish is still okay. going to call like queen 10 the, the other guy will probably still call queen 10 as well um and like 10 9 and things like that and there are a bunch of like combo draw potentials as well and yeah so i i would say at least i'd say at least 340 and then you can also consider over betting as well and just bet like i don't know bet like five dollars but i i would lean towards going 340 just to keep in all this pair and straight draws because you crush those okay Cool. Yeah, I think I definitely am like, I don't want anything to fold and then I go too small and then I just get like, fucked. Yeah, no. Getting too folds here isn't, isn't even the worst thing, just because it's such a dumb board. Yeah. Alright, go for cool. it. Um, and on the eight, I'm never sure here whether, because our range can have ace king. No, I don't see that. So much of the time, whether, okay, well I did. So, so like, okay, that's, that's, that's a real bad see bet, so pause it for a second. Um, at least, yeah. at least you went small, right? You went a third. Mm -hmm. So, like, the problem with c betting is that you, you don't have any cards to improve on apart from specifically an eight, and you're either going to need to be double barreling to fold them off a king, or triple barreling to try and fold them off an ace, and with with no with no mm -hmm. outs to improve, that's just like a really shitty one. And with two people in the pot, it's pretty damn likely that someone has an ace. Mm -hmm. Plus, you just have the best hand. Like, if it checks yeah, down all the way, you, maybe you have the best hand. Yeah. All right. It, on the turn as well, I realized this guy has a one percent three bet. Like, even on like not that many hands, but like, it's yeah, likely like, he wouldn't. Yeah, he still goes all these queens and shit. Yeah. 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 Do something. It's quite nice right now. So what what are you trying to get value from here? Uh two pairs, basically. Why would you have two pairs? After you checked the flop and didn't raise the turn. Which which Insane. two pairs? Uh <laughs> Queen three. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so... 9-3. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so you're trying to get value from a queen. So something like king-queen. Maybe something like kings if he doesn't want to see about that. Um, and then queen-10 as well. Maybe some... You could go even smaller and try and get value from ace-jack. Uh, actually, I would probably lean towards going like $2. Hoping for a raise. Just if you have something like ace-10 of spades. You know, something something along those lines. Um, and then try mm -hmm. and get a call from a jack and a queen. You could also go like... Four dollars and only try and get a call from a queen. Maybe, maybe and five five fifty actually is better okay. than four. Five fifty, you'll sense. probably get a call from her. Yeah, and you, you yeah. can't underestimate the ability. You went... Sorry, you, you can't underestimate the ability for fish to hear a call as well. So it's it's not the worst going five fifty. Yeah. Also, like, I don't know, going big is like six dollars or something. Maybe they think you've missed. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's definitely a legit, so legit thing. Unlikely, but yeah, I think. Going small, like I said, probably the best. Snow Oh, you got quite a lot of value. Anti spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. Not the worst. Mm -hmm. I'd probably lean going toward lean towards going smaller here on the flop just because you want loads of hands to peel. Okay. Um, like if, yeah. you ha if you have something like pocket nines, we're going to be barreling the turn anyway, so we might as well make sure they call the flop and then fold the turn and jack tens and stuff. Okay. I think I made a boo-boo. It's hard to make too much for a boo-boo here. Yeah. Check, check's definitely the standard line. You can you can overbet as well, which is okay. kind of funny. Oh shit! Sorry, I'm not I'm not on the screen. So it went it went c bet flop check back turn. And now we've decided mm -hmm. to stand on the river. And I would fall, yeah. as it does not feel bluffy. Yeah, no, I think it's 
Yeah, you play that super. So good at folding these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would have snapped that, like, snap pulled that, like, a week ago. Because you find, like, one hand that you can beat. Yeah, I've been in those moods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like, he's bluffing. 100% of the time. This is the news. Oh, my God. Thing. It's funny. It's a very small three bet for a hand. You, you don't want to see a flop it's with just it. Just you don't want to see it. Sure. Stop talking. You don't want to see a flop with it, so you probably you want to go a bit bigger. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. What? Seven. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. You don't want to price him in when you got ace five off in a three bet pot out position because this happens. Yeah, I'm like the well, wettest sport ever. Hope you double barrel at least. No, oh no! <laughs> so like, all right, pause it. No. Pause it. Pause it. Oh, there's a lot happening. You also made a bad fold on the other table, but we we'll, won't we'll, we'll check that. Um, okay. So his range here, when you go small on the flop, it constitutes some king x, some nine x, so like ten nine suited. And then it can have, if he's a fish, he can he can maybe have like six seven suited. He can have queen ten, maybe queen ten off, queen jack, maybe queen jack off, jack ten, maybe jack ten off. So there are a hell of a lot of combinations mm -hmm. of stuff that you can make fold on the turn if you just barrel. So. I don't know what your thought process was at the time, but if you can think of loads and loads of hands that you can barrel him off, just go go for it. Yeah, I think sometimes I get stuck in like, I have no equity on this hand now. Yeah, well, it's um, gonna happen a lot when you have ace five, so uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to do yeah, something about yeah, it. I guess I shouldn't have squeezed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think, I was just thinking it looks like there's so much out there that is going to continue after I see that so small on the flop. Yeah, you, you, you um, need to be approaching it from the other direction when you're bluffing. You're like, can I make, can, which hands can I fold him off? And like, how, how big a proportion of his range is that? Um, so yeah, like yeah. All, all the hands I listed, it's just like so many combinations of things. So if you just go like, I don't mm -hmm. know, like, like $14 here, $12, mm -hmm. then you fold him off loads. Probably like 14 just so you can yeah. target Jack 10 as well. Yeah, and I'd say his sizing now after I've checked, I think he's like it's more like he has a draw hand or something than he's. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, like, come on. Oh well. So good it sets. Right, hilarious. I don't mind the memory here. It's pretty funny. He's probably not doing it with nothing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Gi giving him a chance to just go crit, that's a really big fault. Oh, okay, don't worry about it. Um. <laughs> I mean, it was actually a very normal size four bet. It's just like, you're gonna stack a set whatever you do, so you might as well just go, like, go small and make sure he doesn't fold something like ace jack if he if he happens to be doing that. But yeah, it's... yeah, I mean, I was tempted to just min raise all the way. But... Yeah, no, I, I, I'm super down with min raising all the way as well, because people don't really fold. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good Ooh, note, note to make as well. People, people can't see the note thing, but Helena noted donked bottom set multi way, which mm -hmm. is like a really, really small, concise, and and very useful note to have. Because oh, some, sometimes when, notes now. yeah, sometimes when recreational people don't lead, they only ever have bluffs, and sometimes they only ever have value hands. So you, you need to make sure you know which is which. Uh, I like I like your size. I really like your sizing. I like this a lot better than two dollars. Yeah. It sucks if he raises, but he probably doesn't bluff raise here because all of his yeah. hands that he could bluff raise are all one pairs, and people don't usually do that. So now you're just trying to get value from on the yeah. turn. You're trying to get value from like fives through jacks, and then queen x as well. Um, and then on the river, you're probably just going to try and target queen x, right? Yeah, but I think I probably could have just gone like two dollars. Yeah, I think two's um, fine, three's fine. I'd say two two's a bit better than three, just because three three starts to feel like he's gonna start folding at Queen Ten. Yeah, exactly. Like he did. Nah, he probably just folded like sevens. I don't think this is great. I mean, I've only got a hundred pounds on the guy, but like this, this is super fine, and like th this is normally a, a good three bet. So unless you have reasons not to, then it's super fine. Okay. Cool. No, you just have to, yeah, 
decide you're winning this pot no matter what. Yay. Now you just get to, all right, so pause. So when he snap calls the flop, he either has some ASEX or he has some pairs or he has some floats. Um, so on the turn, you can actually go pretty damn small because you just need to better size that anything that is worse than an ace is gonna fold and then you lose less against an ace. So you went a third, which is good, but you can you can go even smaller than that. You know, if you if you bet seven, okay. you can start betting like 488, which still looks big, um, but he's gonna uh -huh. fold like pocket sixes, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Is it fine to check the river there, right? Or? Oh yeah, super fine, yeah. Like, it would be terrible yeah, to bet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, obviously, duh. Obviously, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> a lot's happened, you know, and this is only like a 15 minute video, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've gone through a lot. Uh, that's probably a defend there. We had 6 7 off against the 2 point something X, but. Oh, yeah. I'm I'll keep that going. This, this is why for people watching the zoom so much better because this is only 15 minutes of footage imagine if you're playing live poker and you're trying to learn poker in 15 minutes you get to play like a hand if you're lucky but uh we've we've got to see like a bunch of spots the transitions impossible from online to live you know it's it. very difficult some people have to like take an ipad or, or like an audiobook or something I used to legit just take a book to the mm -hmm. table. Um, what? Yeah, until I discovered live tiles, and then live tiles are just really fun to look at. I definitely went through my phases then, of like, playing too loose when I first started playing live. Yeah, like Nanonoko. Uh. Oh yeah, when he played the big game, he went mental, didn't he? Yeah. So your sizing here is, I'm just gonna say, is designed to target 10-9, jack-10. I guess maybe get bluff raises. Um, here, yeah. Here's one of the problems with going, with going this size. You, you're just now never folding against a recreational player. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure whether, I was planning to, to oh, that would be stupid, but I remember that at the time I was like, should I re-raise or like min-raise, but. Yeah, I, don't, I think you just have done. to let him keep because bluffing was... if he's bluffing. Cause he could just have like king-10 or something and decided yeah. to fuck this guy. Marvelous. So wait, wait. What, what are we trying to get value from it? Uh, I don't know. Low queen x that I just cranged out for no reason. Like, I don't really know. Like, yeah, basically that, and then maybe a nine of, as well. Uh, so he, he can have king queen. Um, maybe he's like like protection raising with like jacks or something and maybe he was bluff raising the hand like 10-9 or jack-9 so uh, yeah. I would probably try and get value from the queen x and go like 10 but si okay. 6 is fine to try and get value from the 9s as well but. nice Deuces! Perfect. Holy shit! Yep. Incredible! Oh! Huh! Well then. Interesting. Alright, we're near the end of the footage. Yeah. Thank god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Can't take it. I think that's it. 
think we're done. Oh, sick. We made it, boys. All right. Well done to everyone that grinded through it. With, nah, that, 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 that was really good educational stuff. Cool. I'm going to see if I can work out how to end the, the recording. I do know how to do that. Oh, God, I'm good at this. Wait for it. Hell yeah. All right. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>